hello everyone welcome back so today i'm going to show you all how i construct my lace closure wigs and since this video is already too long let's just jump right into it okay so the first thing i'm going to do is bleach the knots on my lace closure and i'm using a five by five lace closure from my new posh collection here are the products that I'm going to be using. I'm using the Blind Me Bleaching Powder, the 30 Volume Cream Developer, and right here I have everything that I'm going to be mixing it with, my bowl and my applicator brush, and yeah. So next I'm taking my water bottle and I'm just going to spray the lace closure, and I'm taking my brush and I'm just brushing back all the baby hair so that I won't get any of the mixture on. So now it's time to make my mixture and all I'm doing is taking one scoop of the bleaching powder and I'm going to put it inside my bowl. Then I'm going to take the cream developer and I'm going to put a little bit at a time and then I'm going to mix it. And then I'm just going to continue to do the same thing until I get the consistency of my liking. You don't want it like too runny because then you can over bleach your knots. But I'm going to show you how I like it. So once I'm finished, I'm going to take my applicator brush and I'm just going to pat the mixture all over my lace closure okay so then I'm going to let this product sit for about 25 minutes or so and of course I got sidetracked it and it went a little bit longer but yeah that's cool Okay, so to make my lace closure wig, I'm going to be using a 22 inch circumference canvas head and I'm also going to be using a mesh dome cap. I'm going to be using three bundles of straight hair from my new Posh collection and I'm also going to be using a pair of scissors and some clips. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is take your mesh dome cap and place it on top of your canvas head. And then you're going to take your lace closure and you're going to put it in the middle of the mesh dome cap. And then you're going to take your lace closure and make it go past your dome cap just a little bit. Okay, so after that, you're going to take your pins and you're going to place one in the middle and also one in the back to hold the lace closure in place. And then I'm taking another pin and I'm going to stretch the lace closure and I'm going to put one at the end. And then when I do the other side, I'm going to take the pin that was in the middle and I'm going to stretch the lace closure and then I'm going to pin the end. And I'm also going to do the same for the back. So once I finish, I just pin the hair up and put a duck clip so it can be out my way. And right here, I'm just showing you guys how I pre-thread a whole bunch of needles so that it can help me, you know, sew faster. I don't have to stop. And here, I'm just showing you what I use. I use a C-curve needle and some thread from Sally's. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to start sewing down my lace closure. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the pin that I placed there. I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the PU strap of my lace closure. And then I'm taking some of the mesh cap. I'm not going through the elastic band. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side and I'm just going to speed the video up so we can save some time, okay? And I know you noticed that I did bleach some of the hair on the lace closure and I did fix that like a couple of days later after I made the wig. All I did was I took some of the Revlon Color Stay hair color and I just applied it and it was fine. Okay, so after I finish sewing down that side, I'm going to go back to the front of my lace closure and pin it down. 
And the reason why I do this is because pinning down the front of the lace closure will help prevent the closure from sliding back when I'm sewing the back of the lace closure down. So once the front of my closure is pinned down, I'm just going to continue to sew in the back. And all I'm doing is going from one side to the other until it reaches the middle. And once I reach the middle and I'm ready to knot it off, I'm just going to take my thread and I'm just going to wrap it around three to four times and pull it and then cut it and then that's it. Okay, so now it's time to start sewing down the bundles. And one thing I hated about lace closures is I hate when the wind blow, you can see the tracks. I hated that or you can't push your hair back or anything like that because the cap or the tracks will be showing. So I like to use this method when making my lace closure wigs. I like to take my longest bundle and I'm going to start off from one side and wrap it around to the other side. So all I'm doing is just pinning the tracks all the way around so that it would be easy for me to sew. Okay, so I'm just showing you how I started off. All I'm doing is taking my needle and I'm going through the mesh of the dome cap and then I'm going through the weft just to start it off to lock it in place. Then I take my thread and I separate it and I put the needle through the middle and then I pull it and this create my knot. So after I create my knot, I continue to sew, but this time I go through the mesh dome cap and then I go under the weft, not through it this time. And then I take my thread and I wrap it around two times and then I pull up to create a knot. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to keep this track that's going around in place. So when I like the wind blow or anything, like it don't move and you don't see any cap or anything. So I just continue to do the same routine all the way until I get to the end and then I'm going to cut that track and this is how it looked once I finish. Okay, so once I'm finished, I'm going to start filling in the remaining of the wig and all I'm doing is I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to pin one side to the other side. And this is just going to help keep the tracks in place while I sew. Okay, so I'm going to start sewing from one side and all I'm doing is I'm going through the mesh, I'm going through the weft, and then I'm going through the middle of the thread. And I'm going to pull it and it's going to lock. Then I'm going to continue to sew, but I'm not going through the weft anymore. I'm going under, so I'm going to go through the mesh, under the track, in between the thread, and then I'm going to pull and I'm going to do the same routine all the way until I get to the end. Once I get to the end, I'm going to flip my track and I'm going to pull it tight and I'm going to pin it all the way across again to keep everything in place. And I'm just going to continue to sew all the way until I get to the other side and I'm gonna flip the tracks and then I'm just gonna keep on doing the same thing over and over again <laughs> until I get to the top.
Okay, so as you can see, I kept on sewing from one end to the other. And now I'm getting closer to the closure and it's almost time to close it off. But as you can see, like this side, I only have like room for like one more track. And then once I get to the middle, I have like a lot of space to fill in. And this is the other side. So what I'm going to do is just continue to sew. So once I reach the middle, I'm going to start sewing from side to side and I'm just going to continue to fill in that space that I have until I reach the top of the closure, but I'm going to leave enough room to fit one more last piece. Okay, so I'm just showing you how it should look. And as you can see, I have enough room to fit one more piece of track all the way around to close everything up. And as I'm sewing, I'm going through the PU strap of the lace closure just to lock everything all together. And once I'm finished sewing, this is how everything look. And now all I'm going to do is just cut the excess lace from underneath the lace closure. So after I finish, I wash the hair, I customize the lace closure, and I have a video showing how I customize my frontal. I basically do the same thing. And I just flat iron it and made some baby hair, and this is the final look. I hope I explained everything good enough. I didn't want to talk so much through the video. Um, a lot of people learn by looking, so I hope you all can see what I was doing and understand. But um, this is the final look. This is how I look with the wig on. On. um the video is already long so i didn't want to like style it and everything on the video but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching thumbs up if you learned something and comment down below if you have any questions and yeah tell me what you guys want to see next i love you all bye bye